Hello, so I got this question a while back and I'm finally getting to it. Um, so the question was how do I do eye shifting without the blinking with head movements? And if you don't know what I'm talking about, here are some examples. Yeah, so that's how it would look like. So yeah, I'll try to explain how I do it. Let's see, first thing you want to do is, of course, make your character. I have band story right here. The thing with moving eyes is that you want to get eyes that are, that have pupils that are easy to move. So for my male, for, for this male character, I'm going to use male six. For female characters, I guess the big eyes, I don't know which number those are. So yeah, I usually go with male six. Um, I usually half close them because they're easier to move that way. So yeah, get your character and then you're gonna want to remove the pupils. I do it the long way. So I print screen it, then I go into MS Paint. Yes, I know, I use MS Paint. Shut the fuck up. I am not changing. I'm just so used to this. Okay, so paste and then you have it on paint. You're gonna want to manually mo remove the eyes. I'm pretty sure it's a similar process on paint.net. So that's how I would remove them, just like that. Okay, that, I know it looks kind of weird. Alright, well that's what I do. And then you're going to just fill in the missing lines. So yeah, you're going to have those. So yeah, you're going to save these separately, the left eye, the right eye. Make sure it's transparent around them. And with the moving head, you're going to want to... Um, you can manually remove it like this but I usually explode it on BS just because it's, it's um, more clean that way but if you don't want to do that you can just do this I'll just do it like this since I'm already doing it so yeah you're going to want to save them separately and I'm only going to do the head movements but I usually do it with the arms also so if you want to do it with the arms you're just going to remove the arms also but this one's only going to be the head all right okay so yeah just save them separately okay so you should have sony vegas open and you should have your body parts all put together i have the right eye the left eye the head without the eyes and the body all put together so we're going to start with the head go to the first keyframe and move this blue circle around the area where his head would tilt so wherever you put that blue circle, his head will rotate around. Woo! Like that. And you're going to want to um, copy that and just paste it onto these ones so that the circle's in the same exact area. Else you're going to get eyeballs that are like, like just crazy like everywhere. And then just move them back into the eye sockets. Okay, that looks okay. Alright, now you're going to place a keyframe somewhere. I'm just going to put it right here. Rotate the head. I'm going to rotate it upwards. And his head looks like it's going to plop right off. And after that, make another keyframe just a few key points away. Now, see where this keyframe is? You're going to copy it and paste it in the exact same place, but on the eyes, like that. Go to other eye, paste in the same place. Okay, so now the eyes are in like a random position, so you're going to want to move them. Okay, this one's the right. I'm going to have him looking up to the left so I'm going to move his eyes more to the left and then after you do after you position it place the place the new keyframe in the exact same spot as where the head was then you're going to do with this one also reposition it he's looking to the left more so um yeah I think that looks okay and then place after you do that place the keyframe right here or wherever your second keyframe would be. So all three of those keyframes should line up with each other on each body part. See how they all line up? Okay, and then... 
So you have that. Go back to the head and move it to another position. Um, I'm going to put the keyframe on this one right here. So I'm going to move his head down now. Okay, if his, if his face is too close to his chest, just move it up a bit. Alright, copy that. Remember where you put it. Go to the eyes and place it in the same place. Paste. And then paste. Okay, and then reposition them. I'm going I'm going to have him look at the right now. Oh, my right. So I'm going to put his eye right there. And then the other eye. Looking to the right. Um, does that look okay? Okay, whatever. This is just a fast tutorial, so if it doesn't look perfect, that's as long as you get the point. Um yeah, so just position the eye where you would have him looking. That looks so awkward. Why does that look so awkward? Okay, well, as long as you get what I'm doing. And now when you play it, his eyes should move. Uh, left eye isn't really moving, but I'll fix that later. So yeah, that's how I move the head with the eyes, not blinking. If you're doing arm movements, just have the arm separated and move it along. Though it can go at it can go at its own pace. It doesn't have to follow the eyes and the head. And yeah, that's how I do it. It's always important to have this blue circle in the exact same spot. Else everything's gonna just go haywire. And yeah. Um I also got the question, how do I have how do I move the head with the eyes and then like have the body zoom in and out? Um, you can, you can, well, one of the ways I do it is, uh, I'm going to have people yell at me for doing this, but I green screen. Well, he has green eyes, so I'm going to blue screen instead. I blue screen it, then I render it, then I import, and then I take chroma key. And then I use blue screen and take out the blue, and that way I can zoom in and out on him without the head and the eyes getting all distorted. Or, you can do this. You can parent-child the track, so use this. So, the right eye is the parent, and these ones are the children, and you're going to... Don't use this track motion, use this track motion. So wherever you move it, zooms in and out and so I'm gonna zoom in and it keeps your eyes and head movements in the same place which is pretty neat parent child tracks I don't think a lot of people use that I'm not sure so yeah see wherever you move it you can rotate it and it still keeps the eyes and the heads in the same place and yeah that's an alternative you can use chroma key if you want it'll just take away some of the quality but I use it a lot. And yeah, that's how I do it. So hopefully that helps some of you guys. And yeah, goodbye.